Okay, let's spend a couple of minutes talking about the relationship between price and marginal revenue, and then between those two and the price elasticity of demand. Look at what I'm going to do here. We know this from before, right? We calculated the marginal revenue equation based on the inverse demand equation. So here's my question. If we charge $30 for the product and we sell 100 units, what is the marginal revenue of the 100th unit? From unit 100, read up to the marginal revenue curve, what is this value over here? That's the marginal revenue of that 100th unit. We can solve that from here pretty quickly, can't we? What do we got? Marginal revenue is 50 minus 0 0.40, and what's the quantity here? 100. 40% of 100 is 40. 50 minus 40. The marginal revenue is $10. That's pretty easy, right? Don't forget that marginal revenue equation and be ready to calculate the marginal revenue for any point or any level of output on the demand curve. But that's only part of it. Look at this. How does all this relate to the price elasticity of demand? Well, in fact, at this point on the demand curve, we can, with the data we know, calculate the value for the price elasticity of demand at that point. You remember? Quick review, right? When marginal revenue goes to zero, right? Marginal revenue, before it goes into negative numbers, is associated with the midpoint of the demand curve. And the upper half of the demand curve is the elastic range. And that's where we want to operate. We don't want to be down in the inelastic range because if we're down here, we know that when we raise price, we bring in more revenue. And in fact, we do it for selling fewer units or working fewer hours. All right? So we don't want to operate in the inelastic range. Look at this. And don't forget it. The marginal revenue for any point on that demand curve is equal to the price on, at that point on the demand curve, times 1 plus 1 divided by the price elasticity of demand. And let's take it for $30 price, right? We know some numbers here, don't we? We calculated the price is 30, or we're given the price is 30. We calculated the marginal revenue a minute ago. It was 10. And then we have 1 plus 1 over the price elasticity of demand. So we have one equation and one unknown. Calculate the value for the price elasticity of demand. How are we going to do that? Just very quickly, just as a review, I'm sure, right? Multiply this out. 10 is equal to 30 times 1 plus 1 times 30 is 30 over price elasticity of demand. Okay, so far? Then what? Subtract. Um, what do we want to do? Minus 20 equals... 30 over the price elasticity of demand. Multiply both sides through by the price elasticity of demand. Minus 20 times ED equals 30, right? Because it multiplied over here, cancels. And so the price elasticity of demand is a negative 30 over 20, which is what? The price elasticity of demand at this point is a negative 1.5. And we know what? When that price elasticity of demand in absolute value, ignore the negative sign, when the price elasticity of demand is greater than 1, greater than 1.0, we're up in the elastic range. All right? Go through those calculations a few times. Uh, so you can find some sample problems, or I'll throw some at you, and be ready to do these calculations. Because this is going to be part of understanding what's the nature of the demand curve we're facing out there, and knowing that, how do we maximize our profits? That's